Hi, my name is Kevin Smith and I'm an Agile and Applications Engineer. <coughs> Today, I'm going to show you how to save max memory <coughs> on the 3000X series uh, scope. Um, so the scope's in run mode, let's stop it. We'll hit the Save Recall key. And we'll hit the Save Soft key. Alright, defaults it to the CSV format, which a lot of folks like because it's easier to work with. It just opens up in Excel. Um, we can change the file name and have it auto increment. Uh, and so forth. Uh, this guy we control with the uh, selector knob. Um, so I'm going to go into settings, okay, and I want to select max length. Okay, notice it went to 62.5. Um, why did I only get 62,500 points? Well, if I bring the data on screen, I can get a little bit more. However, the CSV format only represent is a representation of the pixels that are currently hit. Okay, to actually get um, the either depending on what options you have, what memory options you have, which channels are on, <clears throat> we actually want to use this ASCII XY format, which is also a CSV extension. But the nice thing about it, the thing about this, the ASCII format is that it will allow you to save the max four mega points. Okay. So if I um, uh, go to the settings, okay, and I go max length again, I have all the data on the screen. I still only get 2,000 points. Why? Well, in run mode, in run to stop mode, okay, um, if I just hit stop, it, it, it only fills up half the buffer. What I want to do is I want to hit the single key. All right, that fills up the buffer all the way, and still I'm only getting 1,000 points, but there should be 4 million available. What I want to do is I want to change the time scale. Notice that the number of points, the length, changes with how much of the signal is actually displayed. So all of this uh, signal needs to be on screen. Okay, we can do that by going to a coarser time scale. Okay, um, if you have the half, if you don't have the memory upgrade, your max length will be two mega points. If we hit, turn on two channels, like one and two. We hit single, okay. Save recall, um, save settings. Max memory is still checked. We're going to go to that coarser time scale, and we can get two million points because these two channels, one and two, share the ADC and share the memory depth. The same is true also for three and four. Now, if we turn off channel two. And again, do a single, okay? Um, oh, I want to turn on channel three. If we turn on like one and three, um, for example, do single, okay? Now we can go back in, save, save, uh, settings, go to the coarser. The, 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 now we can get the full four million on each, each channel, each of the two channel pairs. One other thing I want to show you is that if we... Um, uh, go to the utility menu and select quick action. Okay, we can now select um, quick save. Okay, and we can go down the same settings and so forth. Um, and so now every time we hit the uh, quick action button, it will save the data. And I never pressed the save button because, well, ASCII XY format is big um, just due to its nature, it's not compressed. And so it takes a while to save even to a USB 2.0 flash drive. Um, so that's about it. Key points are um, using the single button, using the ASCII XY format, and um, bringing all the data on screen. Thank you for your attention.